Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is the place to find out about the most promising NFT projects. This video will look at an NFT that you should definitely not miss out on if you are looking to make 100 times your investment. Please note that you should not consider this video as financial advice. You should always do your own research. A week after it was released, Moonbirds made its way to the list of the top 10 highest grossing NFT collections of all time. And now the mega project has definitely left the entire NFT ecosystem in shock. This has provided the perfect reminder to all that NFT projects can still be a blink and you'll miss it sort of game. So far, the Moonbirds seem to be on their way to becoming a major competitor in the profile picture NFT market, which the Bored Ape NFT currently dominates. But what is it with this new collection? How is it even possible for a new collection to grow that fast in such a short amount of time? To find out more about that, we must go back to the birth of the project. So what is Moonbirds NFT? Well, Moonbirds are a collection of 10,000 NFTs that launched on April 16, 2022. The brains behind this project is none other than the prominent American internet entrepreneur Kevin Rose. The project was a part of his recently established Proof Collective. The Proof Collective is a private, members-only collective of NFT collectors and artists. Before he even released Moonbirds and became a prominent name in Web3 NFTs, Rose had already established himself as an internet celebrity, investor, podcaster, and founder of news aggregator Dig, among other ventures that he has. Even though the collection has a total of 10,000 NFTs, the whole supply was launched in three major chunks. In the first chunk, there were 2,000 NFTs that were reserved for Proof Collective members to mint before they were released for general sale. Given that the Proof Collective ecosystem is currently made up of a total of 1,000 member passes, each token ultimately gave birth to two free NFTs for its owner. If you were one of the few collective members with the chance to own more than one Proof Membership Pass NFT, this was a very sweet deal. Later, a total supply of 7,875 NFTs was released to the general public through a whitelist. This list was made up of the lucky winners of a wide raffle that was held by proof. It was required that potential collectors had 2.5 Ethereum, which is the price of one Moonbird's NFT, in their registered wallet at the time of entry. So, it was not a cheap entry point as most projects are. Aside from the reserves and the raffle, the Proof Collective admins kept the last batch of 125 Moonbirds NFTs to use in future collaborations, marketing, and other things. Now that we know what the Moonbirds NFTs are, who was really behind the entire project? As mentioned earlier, the brains behind the Moonbirds NFT is Kevin Rose. However, a large number of developers and general Proof members contributed to the final product. One of the members who was part of this team is Justin Mazel. Mazel is the co-founder and CPO of the Proof platform. He is also the artist behind Moonbird's distinctive pixel art style. Given that there are thousands of NFTs within this collection that have a wide variety of attributes, Mazel created hundreds of unique randomized visual traits, while the rest of the team yielded a set of generative NFTs. These mostly follow in the footsteps of pixel art predecessors such as CryptoPunks and CryptoSkulls, as well as profile picture powerhouses such as Bored Apes. There is one question that is quite confusing about these NFTs though. Why is it that they are so popular when they are so expensive? Over the past few months, we have only seen a few collections such as Azuki and Doodles cause significant ripple effects throughout the entire NFT ecosystem. But Moonbird's sudden rise to fame has blown almost every other PFP collection out of the water. Just a few days after it was launched, Moonbirds had already earned more than 100,000 Ethereum, which is about 300 million at the time, in secondary sales volume. This is definitely after the project raked in about 19,687 Ethereum, about 60 million, from the public sale of the 7,875 raffle NFTs we talked about. 
As it progresses to breaking the NFT weekly volume records, the Moonbirds have greatly helped demonstrate the dominance that both profile picture NFTs and prominent NFT influencers have on the market. At its core, Moonbirds is a simple collection of pixel art owls, but the success of Proof Collective and the collaboration with Kevin Rose is what drives this whole project. To better understand the importance of this collaboration, we would have to look no further than the explosive rise of Proof Collective membership NFTs. These are the ones that literally marked the beginning of Proof NFT endeavors. The Proof Collective passes were first minted on December 11, 2021. Each of the 1,000 NFTs was sold at one Ethereum each during this time. Collective passes were marketed as a membership pass to Everything Proof, giving holders access to a private Discord, early access to Proof podcast episodes, in-person events, and any other project they may be working on, such as Moonbirds. Throughout the remainder of 2021, the floor price for collective passes experienced some minor fluctuations. However, it then began to slowly rise into the double digits, eventually resting at a minimum price of no less than 30 Ethereum, which was about $85,000 at the time. This price was achieved by February, but a week after Moonbirds was officially released, the cost of the collective passes went up quickly to about 120 Ethereum, which is about $350,000. One thing we can note about the NFT space by observing the past year is that success is proven to give birth to more success. For example, once a project such as Bored Apes or an artist influencer such as Beeple or Gary V who are both members of the Proof Collective, gains notoriety, there is a high possibility that the value of their projects and collections from there on out will have more excellent value accordingly. In the same way, once a project starts to take off, the combination of influencer cosigns and fear of missing out will definitely serve as a call to action for NFT enthusiasts who purchase the tokens from the said project as well as stake their claim as a member of that now expensive and seemingly prestigious community. This is just the basics of the hype cycle when it comes to the NFT market. So far, we have established that Moonbirds has become super successful just a few months after its launch. But now we want to know, what does Moonbirds have to offer its collectors? It should be noted that it is not only the affiliation with success that has raised the Moonbirds collection to where it is now, in addition to the usual promises on the roadmap, the Moonbirds collection offers its collectors a wider range of benefits. The ability to stake an NFT is one of the most notable features that Moonbirds collectors will be able to enjoy. The developers refer to this process as nest. Nesting a Moonbird NFT means that you will have to lock the NFT without the need to transfer it to a vault for safekeeping. Once you lock the NFT, this means that you make it untraceable. But the question is, why would you want to lock up your Moonbird? By doing this, you will start a process that will see your Moonbird get new and additional benefits and achieve new tier levels. Furthermore, the nest will be upgraded, which will in turn make it profitable. This will then bring out even more enhanced drops and rewards. In addition to the nesting perks, Moonbird's owners also have priority access to future proof NFT projects including the upcoming Proof Metaverse. The owners will get all this once they make sure that they own the full commercial rights to the intellectual property of the NFT that they own. Basically, this means that if you are a Moonbird owner, you can take the art associated with your NFT and create an entire brand around it. This means that the owners can also reproduce it and benefit financially just by using it as they please. If you are pleased with what you have heard so far, then head over to OpenSea and get yourself a Moonbird. However, you should note that they are not cheap, with each Moonbird having a minimum price of about 20 Ethereum. However, it is very possible that the investment could pay off in the end, since the price has been as high as 44 Ethereum earlier and could easily go higher than that in the future. This is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out this awesome NFT. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to leave us a like and share this video if you find it interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications for future updates.